Melissa Armo of the Stock Swoosh, and I'm giving you an update on the Stock Swoosh Show Live Trading Room Advanced Trader Tracking for 2019, year to date. So this is from January through May 23rd, tomorrow off, room closed. Memorial Day holiday, Memorial Day weekend, market closed Monday. Great, great 2019 so far, and things are going very well, not even halfway through the year. 244,535. And let's go over all the trades. If you're interested in more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So, again, it's been earnings season. It's a great time to trade. When there's lots and lots of stocks to be picking and rating and that are gapping, well, guess what? You got good momentum, volatility, momentum, all of these things if they make for good trading. And so when you look at that, you say, wait a minute, this makes sense, okay? So summer, summer trading, which typically most swing traders and stuff say is slow, is actually busy because it's another earning season in the summer coming up. So that means there's lots of things that are going to move. So going back to the beginning of the year, January was off. Spy, first trade loser, second one winner. Closed in here with six. Lulu won, Netflix won, SIG took a couple tries, then eventually worked. AXP didn't work, huge worked, market closed, STBK was a really nice gap, COF was a good one, MKC was a loser, Q's winner, Starbucks, small one, CAT one, GME was a good one, T was rough, Q's finally figured it out here in this one, second trade worked, SPY worked, X worked, Q's worked, V lost. Then again, no trades first and fourth, off in the fifth, EA lost, Twitter was a good one, CARB took two shots, first trade loser, second trade winner. Then on the 11th, no trades. UA lost, Guild won, Spy won. Tiva lost, Spy two trades, first one loser, second one winner. NTAP, first one loser, second one loser too. That just completely failed. MGM works, Cisco lost that day. Spy was a nice winner in the 15th. Bunch of market trades in here this year. Market close of the 18th, WMT was a nice winner. CVS took two shots there, did work out. DPZ, nice gap on the 21st. KHC won. Room closed on the 25th, CAT didn't work, HD was a loser, and SGM was a loser. The 26th, that was the day that just lost. WTW turned it around here, beautiful gap. HPQ, another fabulous gap there to close out the month of February. SPY, first trade loss, second one huge winner. Q's lost on the 4th, TB day off the 5th. TRIP lost, Target lost, then Target did work the second time around. That was a rough gap. KR worked, cost, first trade loss, second one won. No trades on the 11th. Stitch Fix was a bust, totally for the option and the day trades. Off the 13th, DJ lost, DG won. Again, that took a retake. No trades on the 15th. OSTK lost, SPY lost, Facebook big winner on the 18th. DSW worked. FDX was wild. Didn't work two trades. One did, but that was a wild one. GS lost at CSIQ one, Nike good one, no trades the 25th and off the 26th. Len was a loser, then the second and third trade worked, Lulu won, off the 29th, Spy won WBA, two trades didn't work out, third one won. Q's was a winner, Q's was a winner the next day too in the Spy. Again, lots of market trades this year. I mean, I can't even count them all. BA won on the 8th, BA lost on the 9th, Disney won, Disney lost two trades there. QQQ's won, SPY won. BBBY lost. WCW, nice big winner. Disney, big winner on the 12th. Q's first trade lost, second one winner on the 15th. Disney first trade lost, second one won. 16th break even. Q's BAC was a winner. 17th IBM lost. Q's lost. Then the second one worked for a little one. Apple, huge winner on the 17th. Room closed then. Apple worked. Facebook worked, Twitter, nice gap. IRBT was a pretty big one on the 24th. 25th was Mo, that was a nice one. MMM lost. XLNX, big winner, two trades, that was a really good gap. 26th INTC did not work. WDC was a big winner. No trades on the 29th. 30th GLW lost. WI lost. MGM worked for two shots. Apple, another big winner in the first. I remember that day. Started out the month of May, which was has we really just when you look at the way we started the month, and now it's like, wow. Anyways, uh, especially Apple, too. Actually, I should do a video on that. I should do a video on that right after this. 5-2 uh, HLF lost in both trades. ATVI lost. 
FTN team loss, QQQ's won, Spy winner. Fast loss, and the Nike was the winner. Spy won two trades in the seventh, DDD won, QQQ's won, Spy won, 510 was SYMC, did not work, killed it, Spy won, Spy won on the 13th, and Tiva. No trades on the 14th. Tiva worked on the 15th. Spy lost. SWKS worked. Baidu, big one on the 17th. Then Baidu again on the 20th, two trades. KSS worked on the 21st. Again, the 22nd, big one in low, two trades. Baidu and JWN. QQQs on the 23rd. So what is an advanced trader? Risk 2,000. Some are a little bit more, some are a little bit less, but about 2,000. Again, if you risk half that, you should expect that, what? You'd still get great results, Okay. If you risked a quarter of this, if you risked one third of this, you do not have to risk two thousand dollars to in these trades to have good positive results. So divide it by the number. So you figure, okay, well I can afford to risk half of that, or I can afford to risk five hundred dollars or whatever, and then divide it by the number of the profits in these trades. You can see how you can get somewhere with this, no matter even if you're only risking a hundred dollars. You will build your account up over time if you start out with a small account. Having a small account is not a problem. It just should not be a hindrance for you to trade. It may mean that it takes you time to build it up to grow the account, but that's okay. You can still do it. Don't wait until you have or can afford to risk $2,000 to trade. You can build your time, your account up in that time, and you can get good then at seeing the gaps, and you get good at trading. It's circumstance only if you have a small account. You don't have to have a small account for long. You can build it up. Keep the profits in your account instead of withdrawing the money. That makes sense. Okay. Ultimately, it's about financial freedom. You're working for yourself. And if you want to achieve these goals and get to the point where you're basically making a half a million dollars a year day trading, how are you going to do it that you can afford to risk $2,000 a trade? You've got to get to the point where you understand the system and you know what to do. And this is what I teach in the Golden Gap course. You will learn my method in the class. The class is June 8th and 9th, 9 to 5 Eastern, Class tuition is $59.99. Class is online. You could be anywhere in the world and take it, okay? So email me if you want to sign up. It is very, very important to understand and know what to do and get education before you trade. Before you risk any money in the market, you should take a class and learn what to do. Now, there's many classes out there you can take. Mine happens to be very good. There are some classes out there that don't work and people don't get their money's worth. I get that. But there are classes out there that teach you how to trade the market, and mine is one of them. What I do is very unique. And the, you can tell that if you go back and watch all of my videos on TV where I talked about the market and how it called the market. The reason I've been so accurate in calling the market, and particularly even I can even point to this today, to yesterday, and even the last two weeks and this month, is because I, I trade gaps. I'm predicting the moves the market will make based on the gaps. More so than anyone else, and more so than anyone on TV. So you really got to understand that gaps are something that's specific. It's real. The money that you can make in the market is real, but you have to learn what to do. And you have to learn a strategy that works, that has a high win ratio, okay? Where you're gonna have many, many more winners than losers, okay? So if you'd like more information and you wanna sign up for this class, email me at melissa at I hope everyone has a fabulous holiday weekend.